A shocking new video has emerged from the horrific mass shooting that occurred in Las Vegas. The video was taken by a female cab driver named, Corey Langdon who was in the area when the terrifying shooting took place. The chilling video was uploaded onto YouTube, and has gone viral due to what Langdon captured during those harrowing moments. However, while the video gives further clarity of what it was like during those tense moments, it also brings up more questions than answers. The entire country knows the name of Stephen Paddock, and the all the sorrow he created when he opened fire at a country music festival Sunday night. According to police reports, Paddock was staying at the Mandalay Bay Resort on the 32nd floor, before busting out the windows and opening fire on the innocent country music fans below. Many people have questioned the story saying that it would be impossible for a gun novice such as Paddock to kill as many as he did. Also, there have been conflicting stories from victims reporting that there were multiple shooters from different directions. Well, now that account may hold some water after what this cab driver caught on video. Langdon used her cell phone to capture the terrifying moments of the shooting as it was happening. In the video, you can hear Langdon speaking to the dispatch operator saying that believe she hears automatic gunfire coming from the 10th floor. She also tells the dispatch that the gunfire sounds like it is coming from multiple directions including sounding further away. Here is more 100% fed up. Automatic gunshots, are still being heard from the cab. Langdon tells her dispatch person, something's going on. I'm not sure why people aren't running, but. There's a security guard, what's he doing? You know, for there being gunfire, it sure doesn't seem like people are running. Oh, shit. Seriously. I don't know what's going on. Where are the cops at? I'm right here by the porch of Mandalay Bay, and everything seems to be normal here. More and more rapid-fire gunshots are heard. The radio dispatcher replies, remember, what happens in Vegas, stays in Vegas. And everything seems normal when it's not. Langdon and the other drivers are then warned by another driver that claims he just got details from the Metro Police at the airport, do not go to Mandalay Bay. Langdon then says she's leaving, I'm leaving. I don't know why people aren't leaving. This is insane. Everyone's just standing around, it doesn't seem like anybody's a moving. She then gets a message on her radio, telling her, shots fired. They don't even know the details yet. I just talked to the metro here at the airport, and they're still getting the details, but there's multiple injuries and uh, inaudible, that's, all they're saying though. They're saying stay away from there, uh, they're shutting the whole place down. Landon continues to have a conversation with her dispatch people on the radio, in her car. She is remarkably calm amongst the chaos going on around her. Langdon tells dispatch, All right, I'm out of here, as she speculates that she believes the shots are coming from the 10th floor of the hotel. As she's attempting to leave the premises, some panicked concert goers, who appear to be injured, enter her cab at the Mandalay Bay Casino. The passengers get into the car screaming, Broken leg, broken leg. Drive, broken leg. Let's go. Let's go. Landon asks the passenger where they want to go, to which they reply, anywhere. Landon asks the passengers, is there somebody out there? To which the passengers reply, yes, yes, an active shooter. The passengers reply, heck yeah. Go, go, go. Langdon, oh, oh, an active shooter? All right. Passengers, go, go, go. Langdon, go. Okay. All right, all right. Oh gd, all right, there is an active shooter then. The female passenger replies, yes, so many people are dead. Landon asks, are you kidding me? The passengers appear to be in pain, and are screaming in the back seat. Landon yells at them, okay, close the door, close the door. The passengers yell, okay, lock the doors. Go, go. Please drive. Langdon, oh, my GD, okay. All right, all right, I'm going, I'm going, okay. Oh shit. Where are we going? The male passenger is freaking out and asks, are you going as fast as you can? Are you effing videotaping this? Langdon replied, yeah, I am. I didn't know it was so bad. Okay. 
The female passenger implored Langdon to get out of the area, thousands of people are dead. Everybody's dead, come on. And go. And, get out of the area. Next, the passengers begin to panic, as Langdon isn't leaving the scene fast enough, not understanding how many people are running in front of her cab to get away from the scene. Langdon calmly drives people out of the scene as she relays the situation to her dispatch unit, and the passengers relay the horrific scene of dead people everywhere. To their parents on their cell phones. After watching this video it certainly does bring up more questions about those chilling moments Sunday night. If indeed there was more than one shooter that caused this tragedy, they must be found and brought to justice. Now, of course, there may be logical reasons as to why the gunfire seemed to move, and if there are the victims deserve to have those answers. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel.